just want to give you a heads up that the signal wasn't good when I recorded this episode and the sound is a little wobbly at times. Hello and welcome to another episode of Heal Yourself with me, Sarah Dawkins. We're the podcast that shares real people sharing their own healing journeys, some from conditions doctors say cannot be healed at all, whether naturally or with pharmaceuticals. And today we have Lucia Stone. Lucia was born in Mexico City and attended the University of Mexico, majoring in international relations and languages, English, Italian and French. Lucia is a published author and she's been teaching the power of the mind for 39 years, working with children and adults. And Lucia very kindly wrote chapter 21 in my book of Heal Yourself. So welcome, Lucia Stone. It's lovely to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's an honor to be here with you today. Today, uh, You asked me to share me to share my experience about healing from breast, ca- breast cancer. Well, I was diagnosed in 2015 with a uh, with, uh, um, two uh, type of cancer, which they told me was the most ag- aggressive there is, if there is, two, one in C2 and one that, uh, that had already spread. And um, they told me that I wouldn't survive even five years, five years if I didn't do chemo and radiation and sur- surgery. Uh, fortunately, at the, at the time that I diagnosed, um, I, um, I already knew the power of your mind. I've been, I was aware of it since, since I, was a, I was a teenager with my mom who was an, was an MD. She had different ideas. She made us meditate for school. Even even a, a before teenagers, ten years old, she put us um, on the floor, my brother and I, and made, made us um, meditate and visualize the uh, the our our um, um, ex- with an A, perfect A. And uh, so um, she was very old. But then at nineteen, I was diagnosed with a terminally. Um, Ill, um, Ill, and uh, that's when I discovered discover this methodology the analogy that now teach. It's called in, Sp- in Spanish aplicación mental, which I translate mental applica- application. And um, I was fortunately enough to start with the doc- doctor, another MD, uh, uh, him as a student. With I was his first group of students. So, so he had just finished writing the books, books the company, the metal. So, so I heal and um, I went back to life like normal after two years. Two years, and uh, it, it amazing. My life changed completely. So years passed. Pass, I met wonderful man who's we're gonna be 30, 39 years of of marrying in June. So yeah, two boys. Uh, who now I, I'm a grandma now, they're both married, wonderful kids. And so everything was beautiful, 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 and beautiful until boom, I was diagnosed in 2000, 2000 with this cancer. And I thought, why? If I'm, do- if I'm doing right, I was eating organic, organic at the time, that wasn't that popular. popular. I thought I was doing everything, everything, everything right. So but I went back, went back to, to my knowledge about mental, mental application. Is that we 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 say that cancer is a deep, deep, deep sentiment that are probably from childhood. Hood. And yes, use I was an abused child, abused child physically and sexually. Really. So I have the three qualifications to qualify five for this disease. And then I thought, well, well. I thought I had forgiven, okay? The, the trick here is to, to for, forgive and forget it. Be, because emotions are the ones that really create illnesses, especially the ones that are that are um, uh, long, long-term and stuff. And so I so I thought, mm, a lot of forgiving, forgiving. Same time, I thought, okay, from what I from what I've learned, I've done all this is because because I have I am very proud to say I am 67 going on going on to sit in October and I started at 20. 20. So 
I'm very happy and proud to say my my age every year here. I thought if you, all these years I've been years I've been I was six, 58 when they, they diagnosed me. I thought, hmm, then I haven't forgiven. I thought I had my work. I did a lot of work. I um, I punched pillows, and I knew knew what I needed to forgive when I the, from childhood, and. Um, um, I thought, well, but it's already in body, so my body needs body needs help too. So I went, and uh, fortunately, I found the resources. I was I was living in in, Cle- in Cleveland, Ohio, and uh, I was a Cleveland clinic, and there they had this alternative sensitive section, beautiful. Apparently, they apparently they were, and I had access there, there to other types of. I did. Um, all kinds of, I did uh, acupuncture and I did uh, Reiki and I and I did uh, medicine. In, I was guided there through the whole thing, whole thing. Most amazing was I changed the way I ate, ate and I went, I don't say one, one diet heals everybody. We are, we are all individual and we all have our, have our different, uh, needs it's and stuff but I do what they call call food combining that was perfect perfect for me for me it's just amazing having, having uh, uh this um organized uh, way of eating and uh, I was eating the right things but probably at the wrong times so learning all this food combining was fabulous for me I lost 30, 30 pounds pound two months with no effort whatsoever, and uh, and just I I in life I said I'm not gonna I was never really afraid, and I have to have to say that fear causes illnesses too, but, but I had two situation situation one year before more or less, more or more or less, my parents both passed away on October my parent on on on, the, on my birth October 11 and. And my two weeks later, and it's okay. Okay, it's very hard. Very, a very, a very, very strong emotions move, move when your parents die. But, but also six months, months later, or my bro- brother dies. My brother, and and, um, and kidnap, and I'll say the rest. And uh, and uh, he's ten years younger than me, and he was my baby. I mean, when I was growing up, so, so that was really, really hard. And sh- in short, after that, they diagnosed me. And they say, this is the most aggressive. It's quick, quick, it's fast, it's fast. Cancer that just booms. So what I be- believe now that cancer, or I have learned, turned through this experience, is that cancer is just always, there, always there. We all have cancer cells, but they, you're okay when you're, Life is sort of normal, but the, but these these rocks that are very, that are very heavy, each one different. But in, but in a case, even three members of, of my family so quickly and together together that then allow, allow this cancer to grow and to progress. Besides that, that well, those are the toxins, the amines, the emo- toxins that created, but. But also there are in the air, toxins and water, and water. So changed my life. I said, oh, when I learned that sugar feed cancer, I, I was a power, a sweet person. I, I always wanted something. Now I know why. So I said, no more sugar in, in any kind, any kind of food. I went and opened the, the trash and threw it in the trash can. My son said, no, ma'am. I said, no, 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 no. Because this is venom for everybody. So I'll throw it out. I went and had my makeup, which was very nice and fancy. I won't say brands, but I threw it. And, and he said, no, 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 give me, give it to me for my 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 uh, girlfriend. And I said, no, no, I'm not going to weigh anything I don't believe. I don't believe that is healthy for you. So now I so I still use makeup, it's all natural. I learned I learned my own products. I it, it, it put it in I Quit all coloring of hair, just henna, just henna, which is very nice and natural, natural. And um, and so 
I changed my life. I continue, I continue to swim because I ended up with a hand up with a handy from the, that time. I ended up with a since I was 20. I don't have a, I don't have a hip, so I have a high heel this big, this big that affects everything I do. But but I do everything. Climb the pyramids. It's, no, with <laughs> so I can continue to be cheerful. And um, I found Dr. Cini in one of the searches for can cancer. I even spoke to him because of Italian and I've been in Italy. I spoke to him in Italian and, and, and it's very interesting in the way he's healing cancer. But but it wasn't in Italy. I even told my husband, Let, let's go on a honeymoon to Italy to see Dr. Simoncini. I mean, I was taking it very light, very lightly, it really, seriously, because I didn't want, any, want anything to scare me about this, about this. thing that scared me was going through meds, going through meds. The med destroyed my, my hip, okay? The cortisone and the cortisone, the cortisone eventually my hip. So, so if I avoid meds, I avoid them. When they are necessary and they're, and they're expensive, well, it's, they're, they're good. They were created with the minds of scientists that wanted to heal. heal. So, so they have emotion in the, in the that are there. If I personally, personally, Lucia, can I avoid them? So it wasn't until, until I decided to have surgery that fear came to my life. You know, instead, most people is the, is the opposite. Most people, that's why I tell you this, you, this is very individual. Most people go and say, yes, I have doctor. I have the right, right hospital that I have all these things on. But for me, it was the opposite. So, but I decided it for many other reasons, not because I believe that that will heal me, because I strongly believe that if you heal emotion, the thoughts that created created it, the ill the illness is going to heal forever. Ever, if you just cut, burn, and 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 and, and then you don't change here, here, and here. Then the illness will come back, you know, and and so me, a lot of med- meditation. I di- I I use well still still do. I use transcendental transcendental dental meditation. I've been meditating for twenty or twenty five. So I continue doing 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 that meditations. I I jump trampoline. I learned that 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 that's a, a fun way to to uh, for your limb system. To help your lymph system, and I thought, well, if there's there's cancer, your body's sick. Period. You know, even though I never felt sick, I never I never experienced any any pain or nothing. I just knew because because I went to do a mammal. and but I thought, well, if it's there, it's there. So I started started to jump trampoline. That was new for me. I, of course, jumping. I jump with a little with a little thing where I can my hands on and hold myself because I cannot just jump like that. But it has worked very beautifully, fully, good changing. I realized that for the first time, time since I, I wanted wanted to do what I want. My kids were my kids were older. One was a lawyer in Washington. My younger one had finished finished his in Cleveland. And I said to my husband, I said to my husband, I'm moving to Mexico. That's what I wanted. I've always always followed him because he. He was uh, uh, the provider. That's uh, how our family d- decided to work. And his job, direct director, you know, and we went everywhere. And I always had a positive attitude to toward, but my heart was, was here in Mexico. And I said, this, this is my, t-. that's another thing. Breast cancer, breast are supplies of giving. You know, you give milk, you you you, you, you keep with it for this first six months, months with any other thing. They depend completely on you. So these are the these are the, the I've always been a very giving person, asking so little in return. And to me, that's very, very important. The cancer. And I thought, you know what, guys? Goodbye, goodbye. I love and I love you so love you so this is my time, my space, for space. Fortunately, we had a house here. And I said, I said, there's more vegetables there, cheaper, cheaper, you know, I can have help to help to 
all these things I have to do and, and to take care of my myself. And that I, I did for the first time in my life. I, I give this to anyone who wants to, to even avoid cancer to take time for ourselves, especially women tend to be the givers. The, I mean, I was always helping everybody. I've been helping with a mental application all my life to people, but also also with La Liga, my La Leche League leader, and, and uh, fed my kids for for, ye- for years. Well, that's supposed to help help you not as cancer, but as, as one doctor said to me one time, and it makes sense, he said, if you wouldn't have breastfed, probably you would have had your cancer at 40 instead of instead of which is easier supposedly to to heal. So that's one of the major things I did. I came here and my husband was his months later, he quit his job there. He moved and later one of my sons moved to move to the to the city of Puebla and he's and he's still here and I'm happy to have my grandchildren grandchildren close by but it was me first time ever we give permission to our, ourselves to say even though i did beautiful things for myself but it was always after the needs of my kids kids and my husband which is good when they're little little which is it has you have to find a balance there you know and I, I, I don't, I, I, I don't have a balance. So, so it's about loving yourself. I want my life of loving myself, and, and with affirmations and actions, and I love. And you have no, no idea how many times jump in that trampoline, trampoline timing twenty minutes. And all I did is, I, I love myself, and because I love myself, myself, I take care of myself, and because I, because I love myself, I do like it, so on and so on and so forth. You know, and I think that is most important. And uh, what else did I do? Well, exercise is important. I increase my my level of exercise. Exercise was not a, a very easy for me. I went into more swimming and the the um, the uh, the um, size and the and the food and and com- coming back to my first. Friends, friends are so important for our, for our emotional health. You know, just sitting, especially women, we, we have so have something with other women that makes you spirit. You know, I don't know. So I thought I'll play my, my guitar. I love to sing. So I just on Saturday had a Saturday had a Victulia in Spanish, which is a gathering where you share poetry and music and that was what I like and I like and I never because of other people's needs, people's needs. and now I'm doing it and it and I'm so happy I am loving more than ever and that's why I wanted to share this with you you can heal anything if you heal heal the things that created them Oh, how fabulous, Lucia. And, and it does, it starts in the mind, doesn't it? You, you have to believe that you can heal yeah. to be able to set those wheels in motion. Um, and your testament to it that, you know, you totally healed that breast cancer uh, with everything you did. Um, and, and as women and specifically mothers, we tend to give from ourselves so much um, to other people uh, without thinking about our own needs because we, we put ourselves last, don't we? We put everybody else first and cater to their needs. So it's really important in healing to, come, as you say, come back to ourselves, self-love. And what is it that we want from life? Because we have to fulfill some of our wants and needs and desires and know that it's okay to do that. Exactly. Exactly, exactly. Your bodies physically, literally physically. I mean, you mean you get the baby inside of you, you're getting out of you, then you breastfeed, and then and, and, and it's beautiful part of it. But but then we continue continue and continue, continue just to give to give and and yeah. you have to take care of yourself too. You know, yes, do what you like. Yeah. Yeah, and, and we're only in this body for this lifetime. 
And, you know, why can we not do something of what we want to do? It's, I know it's okay to, to do what we want to do and have those wants and desires. And for you, it was move back to Mexico. You know, for us, we went to America and then we went back to the UK and now we're in Spain. And it's about knowing what you want to do and then doing it, you know, having the courage to take that step into doing something that you want to do without being validated by anybody else without seeking permission from anybody else but do we we need to do something for ourselves yes yes i i read of many stories people heal because they did what they wanted somebody somebody said okay i'm am i because they told me because they told me not even five years without a, having a mislife if you don't you don't do one radiation stuff and which and which I never did. And uh, these people say, okay, okay, what do I do keep on radiation? If I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna put my life that I always I always wanted to do and they heal. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. it, it just is just so interesting. Uh so somebody is a book that's called called um um Ill- illnesses are blessed in disguise. Yeah. And why? Why? Because they come to you. Hey, you're not in the right path. You're, you're doing this wrong. If you correct it, then you heal. If you, we listen to, listen to our body, if we listen to ourselves, which a lot of meditation helps with that. It's incredible. And uh, because then you're with your own, with your, it's the only time that you're really with yourself. And then find out, out who you're, what you want, what you want. We don't even know. No, we made a career of ourselves, and then we what we don't want to do. Then yeah. illnesses pop up to tell to tell us, "Hey, is one life, one life beautiful being? being. You can do what you want to do, and then heal. If you're yeah. happy, you're, you're in good in good spirits, and you illnesses cannot reach you. They're not there." And I think as well that meditation brings us back into ourself, doesn't it? So that we can hear that, uh, whatever you want to call it, God, internal wisdom, higher self. But that voice inside of us, we can reconnect with that voice, which is there for our for our benefit. And of course, go to the physical. And if you, if you believe in medicine, go to medicine. Because what you believe is going to be the, be there for you. It's going to be. Uh, I, I lost. I lost everything very early. You know. You know. For me, it was like finding another way of healing. And, and I found it in my life. I had my two boys. They told me probably I couldn't have um, a regular um, pregnant pregnancy, or probably get pregnant because of what I. I was diagnosed in that was in that 19 and then no na- no natural child my hip and and all these things I don't don't listen to any my kids kids were born at home beautiful four pound, kilos four kilos babies right? uh, with a with a home with no medications I I didn't want not even an aspirin when my, my kids were born and that's all because as I believe, I put my mind there, there because I said I can do it. So yeah. you can do anything you want, physically, financially, emotionally, your relations. You know, it's just using, using mind for for your benefit, not against you. You, which we against us because of because of all. But once you learn, learn how to use your mind, what is in, in the beginning? What is your mind? Which you are your mind. Yeah. We are not, not this body. This body is in the end is matter. And I had uh, the, uh, the most um, formula energy wa- equals ma- mass time uh, speed of light. Light where? Well, that's energy. That's what what everything is if you ask me this pen pencil yes because everything is made by by atoms 
We are all, all atoms. So what's the difference between a thought, which we cannot even see? You cannot see your thinking. So between my thoughts and a piece of rock is the speed of these atoms. Is this the only difference? But you say, okay, then it looks very solid. A rule looks very solid. But if, if we could see it, that has proven in laboratory, laboratory with a different uh, lamp where you see, you, all you would see are, are atoms. So you and I, I and everybody who wants these, are, we, are, we are connected, you know, you know, we atoms, we are not solid. So our bodies are the houses that, that we have it. And I believe that we chose our bodies. And white, green, yellow, yellow, purple. It's, it's the same. It's the same thing because we are. To me, my mind, intelligence, intelligence, spirit, same, are, are synonyms. That's who we really, really are. And we to have this beautiful, beautiful body, beautiful experience to us to enjoy as a wine. A hot shower, the sun on your skin, a baby being born. That's what the bodies are for, to have fun, not to fear our bodies. Because if we fear our bodies, we get sick. To love our bodies, to take good care of them, but knowing that you are the, are the cause of the body. Yes. Thank you, Lucia. That's beautiful. Oh, thank you. Um, thank you. Could you share one tip that um, would help somebody on their own wellness journey today? Something simple that they could do. Start jumping. That would be the physical part of me. Jump in a treadmill. That is really, it helps. Just three minutes, three minutes, three minutes pulling increases your immune, your immune system hours. If you cannot even move much, like at the like at the beginning, I started, but three minutes, three minutes, three minutes there, three minutes, just that was, that would be from the physical aspect. But but go within, go within, go within, and find what that emotion is causing your illness, yeah. and then work to resolve it. Over. Resolve. There's so many avenues to do that now, and so many people, and, and I'm sure you just ask. Ask the universe and just take out the antenna. The antenna. Say, I want to heal. Okay, I want to heal. I deserve to heal. Heal is my. The right, right thing will come to you. It's unbe unbelievable. We are a city, so it's like an antenna over over radio. That if you move that, move that, then it can put you into in the classical music mode, or it can or it can put the salsa music. So it's the same if you're if you're thinking also scared and, and I'm afraid, sick, and I'm gonna die, gonna die. That's what's gonna be you. Precisely. So we have to switch that, that and take out that and say, I want to want to heal. Okay, I know I can. Which is my way? Change your your well in fine, fine, okay, but avoid sugar. I mean, my, I avoid gluten too com completely. I avoid, I avoid uh, um, 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 uh, from the cow, the, the how you call it? lactose, lactose, lactose. lactose. Yeah. And, and uh, so, but you have to find your way. But sugar definitely. I think sugar is for everybody. And I would say gluten too if you if you if you have cancer. Yeah. Because because it is. I mean, unfortunately, it is full of of toxin. You know, if it was. Mm -hmm. We could find really, 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 really organs and stuff. It's still, it's very hard for your body to digest them. But, but digestion is here too. You know, I want, if event, eventually you get, now have a little thing here, thing here, there, and, um, and, and nothing happens, but my body clean most of, most of the time. I also did, did colonic, uh, cleaning, cleansing the colon. That's another thing that, thing that I would say say to do for everybody if you're healthy. You know, it's wonderful. And meditation. Yes. Find, find your way to 
that will bring you to your center where peace reigns, where there's, there's no fear. When you are meditating, fear doping. Fear and, and love, love, most powerful force, forces in, in this planet, okay? And, and they cannot coexist. If, if you're in a state of love, fear can come in. But if you're in a state of fear, love can't come in. So we have to get rid of fear. And we could talk about that a lot, but meditating, going into deeply into you, to start meditating and being aware of what the breath that comes that comes in out to bring you to a peace, which is your true state. state. Yes. There you can find, find your willing. Beautiful. Thank you. And where can people find you, Lucia? Do you have a website? Uh, uh, yes, it's uh, Lucia um, Dash dash stone dot com and uh, and um and i'm also on facebook as lucia stone and instagram is uh i don't even know i know i think i have here with you is Lu lucia a dot stone is in instagram and you can you can find me and i will be very 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 happy to help Thank you. And I'll share that in the text below. Thank you so much for joining me on the podcast today, Lucia.